Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. So in this video, I'm going to talk about blue green deployment using application load balancer. So imagine you are working for an e-commerce company. So during a big festival season sale, your team needs to deploy the new version of the application with better features. But here is a challenge. The challenge is that you cannot offer downtime because even a few minutes of outage means we will get huge revenue loss and the angry customers also. So this is the way the blue green deployment comes in. So by maintaining two identical environments, one is blue and second one is in the green environment, you can easily deploy the new version and you can test it and, you, and then you can switch traffic instantly with zero downtime. And in AWS, this is most commonly implemented using application load balancer. Now let's understand why should we use blue green deployment. So because, so the blue green deployment, it provides zero downtime. So here the rollback is very easy. If something goes wrong, just switch the traffic and you can test the new environment fully before exposing it to the users. So this makes it ideal for uh, a production environments where you know availability and user experience are a critical. Along with the blue green deployment, we have some other deployment strategies as well. One is we have canary deployment and we have rolling updates also. So in this video, I will focus on the blue green deployment. And let's understand how the blue green deployment works. So generally the load balancer, it will forward 100% traffic to the a current version of the application, which is nothing but the blue environment. It is going to forward 100% traffic. Later, whenever if you want to forward the 100% traffic to the latest version of the application called a, a green version of green version or green environment, so we will make 0% traffic to the blue environment and we are going to forward the 100% traffic to the green environment, okay? And whenever if you want to roll back to the previous version, so you can also roll back to the previous version as well. That is a blue environment. Now let's see the hands-on activities and we'll understand how we are going to implement a blue green environment using application load balancer. So first of all, let me navigate to the AWS management console. And here I have taken two servers. One is a blue server. So where I deployed blue version of the application and I have deployed the green version of the application called the latest version of the application in the green server. So first let me verify. So just copy the public IP address of the blue server and open a new tab and just paste the IP address and access the web content. And here you can see the blue version is deployed. Now in the green version, in the green server, let me verify the web content also here. So here also the green version of the application is deployed. First of all, I'm going to register blue server in the target group and we'll see how we're going to forward 100% traffic to the a blue environment. Then later, we'll see how we can switch the traffic to the green environment. There is a green version of the application. So first navigate to the uh, target groups, create a target group for a blue server that is for blue target and register blue server in the blue target group. So choose your target called instances. And so let's say this is a, simply we can say the blue target group. And as we are going with the application load balancer, so here the listener is HTTP and HTTPS. You can choose any protocol. Just go with the default VPC. And the health check protocol is HTTP and uh, click on next. So here register only blue server in the blue target group. Click on include as pending bill. And finally click on create on target group. Once the target group is created, now use this target group in the application load balancer. Click on create a load balancer. So just go with the application load balancer here. So just specify the load balancer name. Let's say, so this is blue green deployment using ALB. Just specify a meaningful name for your load balancer. Just scroll down here. Scheme go with the internet facing so that you know the traffic will be uh, routed across the internet. And here to achieve high availability, so choose minimum uh, 
two availability zones. Let's go for availability zone 1B and 1C or 1D. So minimum to maximum, you know, you can select multiple availability zones. So here use a firewall in which HTTP and HTTPS uh, listeners or protocols are allowed. And finally, so choose a target group. So let's say here, I want to forward traffic to the target group. And here you can choose a target group called a blue target. Now we are forwarding 100% traffic to the blue target. And just scroll down here. Remaining all the settings is go with the default settings and click on create a load balance. So once the load balancer is created, wait for the load balancer status. Still it is in the provisioning state. Yeah, now the load balancer is in the active state. So copy the DNS of the load balancer and open a new tab. And just paste the a DNS here and click enter. So now the load balancer, it is forwarding each and every user traffic to the blue version of the application only. If you want to check, you can check. So we know the application load balancer. So we'll use round robin algorithm. So using this load robin algorithm, it is going to distribute. So the traffic, the user's traffic across multiple servers equally or equal amount of traffic. Okay. Yep. Now, whenever if you want to switch traffic to the green environment, what I'll do, let me come back to the load balancer. So first of all, without affecting to the blue environment, there is a live environment. Let's register the green server in the new target group. So just create a target group here. Keep the target group name something like, you know, green server target group. And just scroll down. So remaining everything go with the default settings and click on next here. So don't use underscore, you only the iPhones are allowed in the name. Click on next and select your green server and click on include as pending below and finally create target group. So once the green target group is created, now I want to attach green target group to the application load balancer. So what I'll do, come back to the load balancer. So when you open the load balancer, so right now, you know, so the load balancer is forwarding 100% traffic to the blue target only. If you want to switch traffic to the green environment, what we will do is select the listener and go to the manage listener and click on edit listener. Okay. So when you are editing the listener, so here you can see we have an option to add another target group. So add the target group. So we created one target group called green target group. And now here you can see the traffic is distributed equally, 50%, 50%. So now make a blue target zero. Let's make it zero. And now I'm forwarding 100% traffic to the green target only. And come back here, save changes. So once it is updated, now again, come back to the load balancer DNS and just give a refresh now and check the traffic here. So now if you observe, so nowhere the load balancer is distributing traffic to the blue environment. So each and every user, you know, they are forwarding. I mean, the load balancer is forwarding all the traffic to the green environment only. So this is how we can implement blue green deployment using application load balancer. So which will ensure a zero downtime and uh, easy rollback and high confidence in the production releases. So if you found this video helpful, so don't forget to like and share and subscribe for more AWS and DevOps content. Thank you and see you all in the next video.